Welcome back to my channel. Today is the day we are, uh, <clears throat> what, what are we doing, Jelly? We are going to play Weird Dora games. Don't, don't ask me why. So, basically, I, I found this game, and it's called Spank Dora Butt. Let's play. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? You know, this is on a website called DoraGames.net and it's supposed to be for little children. For little girls or little boys who want to play Dora games. Look, you've got Diego, you've got Boots, you've got Barbie, but you've also got Spank Dora's butt. Alright, so I have no clue how to play this, so let's just read the instructions. Grab the hand and more objects by placing your cursor over it and hold down your left mouse button. Then spank the booty as fast as you can. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is seriously weird, guys. Let's grab a flip flop. All right, so we're gonna grab it, and then what? <laughs> what? You can see your little tears. <laughs> no! I feel so. I spanked her booty at 70 miles an hour. What? It's about miles. Jesus Christ! How faster you move the cursor, how harder you slap her butt! 470 miles per hour? What the hell? Who makes these children games and then puts ads on them? This is seriously messed up! Alright, let's grab a belt. <laughs> Even though it's messed up, I still kind of enjoy playing it. Hoota! Woo! Aw oh, shit, 412 miles an hour. We're going for a thousand miles an hour, alright? Three, two, one, boom! Ah! Oh! 529! Well, that's my new record. Seriously, guys, this is super fucked up. But we've got some more. This is not the only weird game that we're gonna play today. This hair is annoying. All right, so next up is apparently an Ella game. I thought I thought it was Dora, but it's an Ella game. So Ella is very insecure, unfortunately. And what does Ella do? Ella does plastic surgery. Now, I personally think that's an absolute terrible thing to do. All right, so first of all, this game is teaching kids that if you are overweight or insecure about yourself, the only way to fix yourself is to cut yourself. That's pretty much what this game is telling all these kids. It's terrible. It's it's not even funny, even though I'm laughing just a little bit. All right, so we got a pencil over here. What are, what are we supposed to do with it? Draw on its arm? What? Mark the cut. What? What? We're marking cuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, and then we've got a needle. We're, we're gonna dip it in there. <laughs> okay, so we're putting, I guess, alcohol on the skin so it can't get infected or something like that? Guys, seriously, this kid game is way more in-depth than I hoped it was gonna be. Okay, so we put all the stuff on there. Next up, we're grabbing the knife. Remove the fat. Are you serious? You're teaching these kids that you should cut your own skin? What the hell? <laughs> this is so messed up. Still kind of enjoy playing it though. All right, so let's just keep on cutting the skin open because you know, that's just normal. You cut your own skin if you want to lose weight. That's how you do these things, right? All right, so next up, we're gonna suck out the fat. That is absolutely disgusting. Jesus Christ, you can't be serious. Okay, so I guess we've sucked out all the fat. She doesn't look any skinnier though, but all right. I mean, she's not even fat. I've seen worse. <laughs> all right, so we're stitching everything up. This is seriously taking forever. How is this even a fun game to play for little children? All right, so we're stitching all the cuts and um, I guess we're pretty much done after that. We're just, we're just gonna have to bandage it and stuff. Apply some stuff so it doesn't get infected. I have no idea what this does. All right, now at the bandage. I mean, she still looks the same. Isn't that, like, supposed to change when you suck out fat? See, kids, don't try this at home. It won't work. Don't put a vacuum in your arms and hope the fat sucks out of it. What? Was that it? All right, so now we gotta, like, dress her or something. Hey, nice! <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. If you are between the age of, let's say, three and eight, and you are legit playing these games, tell your parents. Seriously. They'd love it. No, but seriously, though, guys. Don't you think it's a little weird that people think of a game, right, to create? The developers are thinking of the game. What would children love? Hmm, yeah, after a lot of brainstorming, a plastic surgery game will do. Seriously, like, what's wrong with these people? 
All right, so next up, we've got something different. Uh, not really, actually. It's another surgery game. But this time, it's a, uh, appendix surgery on, uh, Ella again, I think. I don't know what's wrong with Ella, but she, uh... She wants to change a lot of things about herself. Even though I think this one is not as weird as the previous ones, it's still quite graphic for little children. Warning, don't try this at home. <laughs> what? It's a kid's game. You shouldn't even have to warn them. And if you do have to warn them, then it's not a kid's game anymore, all right? All right, so we're apparently not doing it for Ella. We're doing it for Elena. She may get acute with appendix, uh, whatever that says. If we don't treat her immediately, she may die. Diagnose her and do the surgery. I'm a doctor, yeah. Please enter there. The, they can't even spell right. And diagnose the disease for the patient. Check the patient's appendix for inflammation. All right, I will do so, lady. Put your hand on the tummy. Press the appendix. See if the patient feels pain. All right, here we go. Here we, here we go. Do you feel any pain, lady? Where the hell is the appendix at? If that's her butt, I'm guessing like over there? Over there? Lady, do you feel any pain? The patient feels so painful. <laughs> that is a symptom of appendix. But we still need to do a blood test to confirm it. All right, first of all, put a needle in there. Okay. Oh no, first we need to tie its arm. There you go. Strengthen it. Nice. And then flick patient's forearm. Make the vein appear clearly. All right. Oh, this is some good stuff, huh? A great game. Really. Disinfect the skin. How do we do that? How, how do I do that? Guys, how do I disinfect the skin? Like, I can't grab any of these things on the left. Seriously. It's not even working. All right, there you go. I figured it out. Let's uh, disinfect the skin. And now insert the needle. Here we go. Oh. All the way in there. Connect empty tubes. Yes. All right. The blood's flowing in. Now we need to grab the needle again. What is what is happening? There you go. Apply the bandage. Yes. We did the blood test. Okay. So that's the blood right there. And we're going to have to check the number of white cells. If the virus invades, the body will produce white cell to protect itself. If the number increases markedly, the body has inflammation. Okay. It looks like it's... <laughs> Probably too high, right? Please enter the equipment room and choose surgery equipments. Okay. I mean, this game isn't too bad, really. It's actually quite fun. I'm enjoying this. I could be a doctor one day, I think. All right, so which uh, tools do we need? It doesn't say anywhere. I am not really sure what I'm doing. Seriously. Oh, I get it. I get it. Scissors. Nope. Wrong scissors. Scalp. I'm just going to call that a scalp. The issue is I can't scroll down. Like, I need to go down. Oh, there you go. All right, another scissor. This is stupid. This game is stupid. Just get into surgery now. Next, please enter the surgery room to start the surgery. All right, where, where are you at? Surgery room. This is disgusting. The symptoms shows that she has appendix. I can't pronounce that. Do a surgery to remove the appendix. All right, please insert the anesthetic. How is this a kid's game? They don't even know what that is. All right, here we go. Just to make sure that she doesn't feel any pain, I think. Now the surgery starts. Pick the scalpel and cut. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is gross. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> All right, there we go. We cut her open. Good. Now get the retractor to open the incision. I guess that's this one. How do you open a wound like this? Can anybody tell me what I have to do? Seriously, this is stupid. Oh, there you go. All right. <clears throat> Come on. Oh my god. All right, now push. <laughs> Use the scalpel to cut the fat layer. Oh my god. We're going deeper. We're going deeper, boys. Oh, that is disgusting. Use scissors to open the muscle layer. Here we go. Okay. We're opening her up. Two hands. Voila! We're inside. <laughs> Please pick the pliers to drag the appendix out. Okay. Oh my god. Here we go. There we go. Begin the treatment. The appendix has inflammation. Cut off the appendix. I guess we're going to have the scissors. Good job. Uh, pick up the needle. W what am I doing? Please get scissors. Cut off the upper part nipped by the pliers. 
Here we go. We're cutting them off. We need to grab the needle again. So, like, we stitch it up. There you go. I think that's it. Remove the pliers. Put every tissue back. Use suture, su su suture needle. I don't know what that is. To suture the wound. Still don't know what that is. The surgery is completed. Okay. Are we doing- are we using the same one? It's gross. Need to clean it and stuff. And there we go. The wound is closed. Alright, guys. I just did surgery on a patient. Alright, guys. I think that's pretty much it for weird children games. If you are a game developer, please don't make games for kids. Especially not like this. Okay? Thank you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more weird children games, like Dora slaps asses and stuff, then let me know in the comment section and leave a like on the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoo <laughs> ha!